what is your next big idea that you're passionate about? Um, you know, I'm, I, I, I told Sarah that I wasn't going to start any more companies because mm -hmm. we're like, kids will be graduating and we're supposed to move on to the next phase. Um, but, uh, and I don't, I don't know if I have the fire to start new things, but I do look at new things and know lots of people at this point. The irony is the, at a time in my life when I'm least interested in starting companies, I have the most opportunity because <laughs> that's just what happens in this business. And I've, I'm in, I've become involved with something in New York City that I like quite a bit that I'm looking at much more closely called Artsy. I was just telling somebody about it. Um, it is the, the ambition of this young, super mathy smart MIT kid uh, who's very arty too. So he's like, I think he might be, I think Carter might be on the genius scale somewhere from a math perspective, but he's also quite artistic and creative. And he started this company to create the new marketplace for art. And his goal is to bring, he, he believes that, that, that art should be like music. It should be the people's, that everyone should be involved in art and be able to consume art. And she, he thinks humanity is getting, the history of humanity is just getting more and more creative. Art is coming to more and more people. So his is to, is to bring art to everyone. And I'm a, my, my wife Sarah is really into art and I'm a great supporter of the arts. Uh, and so I found this intersects with my, with my interests. It's building a marketplace and it's around a topic that I think is important and interesting. So I'm, I'm, I'm taking a look at that.